I want to show you how you can use Dynamics GP on an iPad using MyGP Cloud. Let's sign into Citrix. I'm going to enter my password. There it is. Let's select an application. This is going to start Dynamics GP. We're using single sign-on to get you directly into Dynamics GP, and we're also using 128-bit encryption to make sure that your data is safe. We're logging in right now. Now I'm going to select a company. Let's do the company drop-down, select that one there. When I log into Dynamics GP, I'm going to be presented with my user homepage. The user homepage has a number of links and information that allows me to easily understand how my business is doing. For example, I've got metrics right here. We're looking at gross profit for the past 12 months. I've got about a dozen of these, a couple dozen of these that I can look at. Let's take a look at another one here. Let's open up, get a closer look. Let's look at receivables aging. I can do that here. There's my receivables aging. I've also taken advantage of Excel to report information from Dynamics GP. Let's take a look at a dashboard that I easily put together using Dynamics GP data in Excel. Here I've got information about a customer sales, the customer information, and also the item information. You can see I've looked at extended costs, extended prices. Let's take a look at another Excel spreadsheet. These are easy to do in Dynamics GP and Excel. Here's another one right here. Let's take a look at that. This shows me not only sales data and customer data, but also inventory quantities. I can focus in on that, get a closer look at it by using the iPad functionality. And close that up. Let's go back to our home page here. Also, I can use SmartList to get to more information in Dynamics GP and also transactional data. Let's take a look at my SmartList favorites here. Here I've got a number of SmartLists. I'm going to scroll down and look at open orders. There are my open orders here. Let's take a look at them. These are all the open orders I have in my system. Let's take a look at a particular one here. Let's open that up. Here we've got an order here from a particular customer. I can see the order detail. I can see the various items in there, the quantities. Using the go-to buttons, I can get additional information on this particular order or the customer. Let's take a look at the customer payment summary. I can open that up. Here I've got statistics about this particular customer. I also have a nice little agent here on the left-hand side where I get a complete picture of this particular customer. I can also drill down on that. Take a look at the detail invoices that are making up those past due amounts. And there they are. I can select any one of them and open those documents up have a conversation with my client to make sure that those things get paid on a regular basis. So this was just a quick view of how you can use Dynamics GP on an iPad with MyGP Cloud.